So people are going to tell you, 650 bucks is so much cheaper than last year. Ooh, well, we don't have that kind of money. Grab a hobby box. It's so much better. Well, not all of us have 650 buckaroos hanging around. Can't find that under the couch. So retails are other option. Are they any good? Let's find out and let's rip some aces. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Huxbox here. Today, we're going to be taking our first look and reviewing the 2022-23 Prism Football Blaster Boxes. Biggest kind of release of the year, for sure. Um, the flagship football Panini product. We pulled, we got these from Target.com. Um, they were $29.99 a box. Um, there are some differences. There is a Walmart, I believe it's a Walmart exclusive box that hopefully we'll get our hands on in the future. But in this Target specific box, we got six packs per box, four cards per pack. And we're going to find four blaster exclusive green prisms and one blaster exclusive light blue uh, prism. And we can also look for blaster exclusive uh, memorabilia cards and one uh, silver prism per box on average. Now, what can we pull out of this? This is going to be very interesting. Um, let's focus in on that. So you can see we got the base prison, silver, red, blue, green, light blue, black, and red checker. Then you have autographs, prism silvers, um, the rookie prism, silver, red, blue, green, light blue, black, and red checker. Rookie autograph, silver, fireworks, prism break, emergent, hype, new recruits, brilliance, premier jerseys, rookie gear, rookie variations, prism silver. You're going to notice some omissions. I don't see any parallels for the inserts and there are no number of cards you can pull from this box this year. Wait, what did, what did you say? That is a big miss. So last year you could pull numbered cards. Um, this year you can't. There is no giant chase out of this box. Um, what does that say? We're going to find out. And if you like these kind of videos, want to help support the channel, hit that uh, like button, sub to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Well, let's get moving. So it seems to be a trend. Uh, we'll get into we'll get into the specifics in a minute. Let's just check out the cards. So there's your base. I'm sure you guys have seen it. They changed uh, some minor tweaks. Uh, and a lot of people say this looks like select uh, what, concourse now. It kind of does. I think I like it over last year. Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones, Shaquille Barrett. And here's our first light blue, Alan Lazard. I do like the light blue prisms, I think. So let's talk about the uh, Target exclusives versus the Walmart. Um, I think I'm going to like the Targets better. I think the Walmarts have the, they're going to have the red, white, and blues, which was uh, specific to the hangers. There's a Quentin Nelson. And our rookie is Jaquan Brisker. Did I miss a rookie here? I believe I did. No, apparently I didn't. I didn't get a rookie in there. Um, but the Walmarts have the, red, white, and blues, which tells kind of everyone that there's not going to be any cellos. Those were in the cellos last year. So the blasters might be the only retail format for Prism Football this year. And that just kind of speaks. Our rookie is Drake London. All right, we'll take that. But this just speaks kind of to Panini's overall outlook towards retail, which is we want to get people to buy hobby boxes, not retail. So we're going to neuter retail to steer them away. And I think that is, honest to God, the growing trend in the hobby is to just water down retail. No big hits. Nothing for you. Our green is Quinn and Williams from the Jets. Nice color match. 
And our rookie is Tariq Woolen. So I think this is going to be, I think we're going to see this in most products this year when it comes to retail. Ray Lewis, Jacoby Myers, and our one silver prism is Rex Burkhead on the silver and our rookie emergent of Romeo Dobbs. Last pack of blaster number one. So yeah, I am fearful for the future of retail, at least for 2023 anyways, or this year, the 2022 sets. Our green prism is Akeem Ekwonu. Some O-line love and a Carson Strong rookie card. Because, yeah, why wouldn't you want a rookie card of a guy who's not in the league currently and on a team? It is, and Prism is, you know, Prism is, I don't know, in my opinion, it's overvalued. How dare you say that? Um, for some reason, it is just the coveted set, and it is what it is. And, you know, it is the one set whose base cards do hold value. Just the, the plain base will keep their value and have some kind of value. So that's cool. Like, no one likes value. But the price points of their hobby boxes, it's just for what you can get, it's so heavily printed. Rookie card, another Carson Strong. Is this a variation? Or is that an Aaron Donald blue? That's a pretty cool color match. Too bad you're not in the league, bro. That is not a variation. Not sure what's up with why it's black and white. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something. Although I'll find out. Stick in the video. I don't know why I always say stick say in the comments, because I'm gonna find out and put it in the video. Von Miller. Bill's PC love. Daryl Henderson. And our green is MJD. Maurice Jones Drew. And our rookie is Traylon Burks. And Prism is tough to hit in. You know, it's such a huge checklist, 400 cards. Such a massive checklist to hit anything. Walter Jones and our green is David Bell. If this dude is ever good, I'm gonna be a rich man. So. 650 bucks is just for a hobby is still too expensive. 30 bucks for a blaster is still too expensive. Um, and it's just kind of ridiculous. Steve Largent on the green, Thibodeau on the rookie. And it really needs, we really need a price adjustment in the hobby. Yeah, it's cheaper than last year, but I mean, last year was just, is absurd. Um, and I, until the price comes down on hobby boxes, I am going to stay away. Hunter Renfro on the silver. And a fireworks Drake London. Not bad. I'm just going to stay away from the retail. And I saw the prices on select. And optic. Still high. Still like $100. Too, too much. Derwin James. Jaquan Brisker Green. Green rookie and a Trey McBride rookie. Make sure you're not worth anything. <laughs> Let's not fool ourselves. Just because it's rookie color doesn't mean squat. All right, last box. So far, not terrible. We got a Drake London green rookie. But for 90 bucks, not touching it quite yet. And Brock Purdy and Pacheco are in this set. A Purdy would be cool. Could I see a Purdy, please? I'm not a fan of how these packs just fall apart in my hand. What am I doing with my life? Whew, this is a rough one. TJ Hawkinson, Leonard Williams. Our silver is Jamison Williams. That's a good one. And our blue is also a rookie. Hadarian Mathis. So, I like Jamison Williams. I think he could have a huge year. On the silver. 
Okay, these packs do not open well from the top. They don't, they don't open well at all. They just kind of rip apart. Kind of cheap. Would be cool if we could see a... There's Jamar Chase. See a checkerboard. Our green is Austin Eckler. And our rookie is Pierre Strong Jr. Love to see a Purdy. I, I kind of came to the conclusion that if I'm going to see a Purdy, it's got to be a big one now. Wishful thinking on his part. At this point, like if I get a Purdy, Jalen Ramsey, it's got to be a big one. Like a color Tristan Ebner on the green rookie. Like an auto or a big color. It's got to be something. Well, clearly it's not going to be a numbered out of here because you can't. And I think at the end of the day, what's going to be the problem with this set is a lack of a big card. Julian Love on the green, and our rookie is Roger McCreary. Two more packs to go, and that's going to be it for three blasters. Some Bills love Devin Singletary, who is no longer on the Bills. Tyree Kill. Our silver out of this box is a rookie, Kyle Phillips. So close. And a fireworks, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, so I don't... There's no parallels of the inserts. Um, yeah, there's no big chase card in this. Javante Williams, Tony Baselli. Our green is... Not, oh, it is a rookie. It is a jet sauce. Garrett Wilson. Excellent color match. It's a beautiful color match. Um, I don't know what the value of this card is, but it's got to be pretty solid. So that is a nice card. So at least I can say out of every box we pulled at least one card. It was kind of a, a solid one. There's a Trayvon Walker first round pick. First pick overall. So there you go. There you have it. There is 2022 prism retail blaster boxes my final rating i'm probably gonna have to give this my boxes were pretty decent we got a, something out of every box so aside from that like we got rookie color like i've seen some pretty brutal boxes at 30 bucks no big chase card um it is still prism but i'm probably just gonna have to give this an air uh just a, like a 2.5 out of five aces it's just average i think i would say you know it's not terrible, but it's not great. It is what it is. Um, it is depressing to see kind of a downward trend in retail. And I think that's the direction we're headed. Let me know what you guys think about Prism, hobby and retail, which direction you think is the best to go. I'm, I, even with the current prices, I'm kind of, would say like, if you want to spend money, go buy a hobby, go do that. Don't waste your money on retail, but not all of us have that kind of money. You know, we only have we only a hundred bucks to spend. A hobby is out of the question, or you just stick to singles. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you want to help support, uh, hit the thumbs up button, like the video, sub to the channel. It helps us grow, helps us uh, continue to rise. We're already we're approaching 250 subs, which I'm pretty excited about. And that's all thanks to you guys. And thanks for spending even just a minute of your time with me today. Until next time, peace out.